Well, good morning again, everybody. It is still March the 1st, 2017. I'm Daughter of Earth, also known as Cindy K. Courier, and this is my second video of the day. A, a few years ago, I don't know, it might have been 2012, 2013, I was introduced to, to some videos by a man named Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall. And um, I, I didn't watch those videos. For some reason, um, they didn't really catch my attention at the time. However, uh, lately, some of his associates have brought him to my attention again. And, uh, and, and so I, I did. I watched some of his stuff. And I read some documents that they sent me. And I would like to go ahead and share those with you now. The first one, um, I believe, was signed by him, developed by Brian Marshall in 2010. And let's just go ahead and take a look at that together. King of Judah, Yahweh. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, Declaration and Notice of Claim. Notice to Agent is Notice to Principal. Notice to Principal is Notice to Agent. Dishonor will result in request for contract resolution by Universal Postal Union. Definition. The definitions of words, phrases, and sentences used in the following are those of the common man. Words and their meanings are defined as those meanings accepted as accepted in the casual course of human interaction in a civilized society, similarly educated and experienced as to their use. Declarations. I declare and state under penalty of perjury the following. All the facts stated herein are true, correct, and complete in accordance with my best first-hand knowledge and understanding. Admissible as evidence, and if called upon as witness, I will testify to their veracity. And I have, in good faith, determined the facts stated herein to be true, correct, and complete, and not meant to mislead. By signing this affidavit of public notice before a notary republic as an authentic act, I do hereby and herein declare the proclamation, declare and proclaim, I'm sorry, the following with clean hands and in honor. I am not a corporation, and I am not a fiction or artificial entity, and I am a real flesh and blood man. And constitutions have jurisdictions over the governments they create. Fictional entities, corporations, are inferior to the governments who have jurisdiction over them. And the agents of government are the trustees for the grantor, beneficiary, and the monarchy of the United Kingdom serves as trustee for Yahweh through his son Jesus Christ. And the monarchy of the United Kingdom is required to have direct genetic link to Jesus Christ and the house of David. And the United Kingdom is a common law jurisdiction. And equality before the law is paramount and mandatory. And a statute is defined as a legislated rule of society, which has been given only the force of the law. And a society is defined as a number of people joined by mutual consent to deliberate, determine, and act under a common goal. Um... Okay, blah, blah, blah. I'll let you read. I'm going to post a link to this. There's a lot of legal stuff. Um, I'll let you read, but I'm, I'm going to come down here. And this, remember, this is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall writing this document. I am the direct descendant of King David via King William I, the Lion King of Scotland. My father, Reginald Albert Michael Marshall, who was born in Sydney, Australia, February 11th, 1909. This person descended from the royal line of Marshall via the marriage of the king's daughters, Margaret and Margota, who married marshals of the Norman royal line. And my mother, Daphne Golightly, is the offspring of Henry Golightly, the son of King William I, the lion, and his second wife, Isabel de Avonal, she being descended from King Henry, King of England, or from Henry I, King of England. And I am Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, the true king of the United Kingdom and grantor to the trusts claimed by the Vatican through the United Kingdom 
and a sample blood and D DNA test will confirm my divinity and claim, and I am the most royal person. The reincarnation of Jesus Christ, the creator, sovereign Yahweh, of in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, Genesis 1, 1. My credentials are as follows. I am Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, Yahweh, Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings, Lord of lords, the word of God has prophesied. And then he gives scriptures and goes on to say, I am Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, as prophesied. And then he gives prophetic scripture there. And I am Shiloh, come, as prophesied. And then he gives more scripture. And I apologize, uh, Mr. Marshall, for chopping this up, but I want to present this, uh, you know, in general, to give the people uh, a good feel for what you're saying. Because if I read the whole thing, um, you know, I'll just leave reading the whole thing to you. Here we have revocation of Queen Elizabeth II, oath of office. Oath of Office of Monarchy to the United Kingdom. I, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, Yahweh in the flesh, hereby revoke the Oath of Office of Queen Elizabeth II, accepted and signed on June 2nd, 1953, upon her coronation. Claim to Monarchy of the United Kingdom. I, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, Almighty God, Creator of Heaven and the Earth, Yahweh, Yeshua, the Lord Jesus Christ, True heir to the throne of David, King of kings, Lord of lords, the word of God is prophesied, hereby claim my birthright, the monarchy to the United Kingdom. And I hereby assign my authority as the creator Yahweh, an owner of the earth and all that it and all that is in, above and below, to my wife Jen L. Margaret Golightly Marshall, the divine mother. She shall co-administer and create as her heart of love and compassion dictate. I hereby declare the town of Har Harcourt, Victoria, Australia, as the holy city, New Jerusalem, as originally proclaimed by me on April 6, 2010, as prophesied. And then he gives prophetic scripture. So I'm not going to read the rest of that, but um, it appears on a separate page. If he didn't really sign this, I don't, I don't want to falsely claim that he did, even though this last page, these last pages are included in the same PDF, they look like the type is different. But it appears that he signed this. Um, I, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, sovereign man and petitioner, certify and affirm upon my own unlimited liability that I know the foregoing to be true, correct and complete, not misleading, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me Yahweh, executed this 15th day of May 2010 at, and I don't, I can't read that, but, uh, he has signed it and so have witnesses. He's postmastered it. He has notarized it. I will leave a link to this below this video. Now, before you say, well, he's one of, you know, a gazillion people claiming to be the Christ, before you say that, I want to share another document. This one is Epistula Apostica of Papa Emeritus Benedictus XVI in Christum Credent. Believe in Christ. This apostolic letter is in regards to Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall's claim to be the Christ. The Roman pa Pontiff Emeritus Benedict XVI's response to Marshall's claim. The Third Vatican Ecumenical Council outlined by Marshall. The meeting which occurred with Roman Pontiff Pope Francis and the Pope Emeritus, Roman Pontiff's, Pontiff Francis' response to Marshall's claim, a prayer for Universal Church reflecting Brian Marshall. So, um, This uh, lists, I'm going to post a link to this also so you can read it. It's 11 pages and I'm not going to read it all. Um, but here's the letter addressing Brian Leonard Golightly, Marshall's claim to be the Christ. Here in section 2, do I believe that Mr. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall tr is truly Jesus Christ reincarnated? Yes, I do believe he is. Jesus Christ reincarnated. 
And then he talks about that. He says he has faith in him. And uh, at the end, of course, his signature, March the 30th, 2013. Now, Mr. Marshall, Mr. Brian uh, Leonard Golightly Marshall and his spouse seem to say that uh, there was a Vatican coup. Of course, there are several people who think that, that took place in 2013, which resulted in an uh, um, ineligible person being named, appointed as the Pope, that being Pope Francis, the Jesuit Pope. His legitimacy, of course, has been questioned by lots of people. And uh, lots of people feel that there's been, uh, that there was a Vatican coup in 2013. Um, the arrest of Pope Benedict XVI um, took place at that time. And it was stated that his arrest came because he was, his mission was to deal with the pedophilia in the Catholic Church. And uh, he didn't deal with it effectively. He, in essence, by his actions, covered up for it. And, uh, and so it also appears that Pope Francis, while Pope Francis seems to be publicizing it, uh, may be following suit, doing the same thing. Um, so I wanted to present uh, something else to you. One of Brian Marshall's, someone who, say, who said she was a disciple of his, sent me this video today, uh, posted this, and I want to share some of it with I've not watched this. Um, I thought we would just maybe share it together. Mr. Swart. His name today is Brian Lenny Go Lightning Marshall. The Great Pyramid is the altar to the Lord, and the antechamber is the key of the house or the family of David. The antechamber itself is 116.26 pyramid inches wide. At the bottom of the diagram there, underneath the antechamber, there are some dates. The rebirth date of the Christ is January 11, 1944, until the date that he married his first wife, Lucifer in the Flesh, on April 23, 1966. The number 1966 in the concordance is the word Lucifer. Okay, I'm the having a hard time hearing that, and so you probably are too. So I will put a link to this below this video, and you can finish that on your own. Um... I thought this was interesting. I found this on that same channel. I'll go ahead and play this for you. This is at Sword of Truth 3168. It's entitled 312, the number of his name. Let's watch together. We must be pure. enough of that. So we have Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall saying that he is the Christ as uh, prophesied in the scripture in both the Old and New Testament and we have uh, Pope Benedict the 16th 
saying that he believed that to be true. So, um, what's my feeling about it? Well, my feeling about it is is a little irrelevant. You know, I back in graduate school, um, I had a professor um, when he was sharing with us in how to write research papers. He says, always in your paper, address the question, so what? And so when I when I say so what with regard to these documents, these documents look legal to me, legal to me by international Vatican ecclesiastical law, um, international law, the law of the sea. And when the Vatican, you know, when the Pope makes a declaration um, that usually speaks the sentiment of the church. And so as far as the Catholic Church goes, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall is the Christ. And as you know, you know, they, the Vatican houses a lot of history, history, you know, historical documents that we have not seen. So I imagine, you know, they, they know more about uh, how they developed their church than I, than we do. <laughs> Hopefully those things will be released soon. Um, so I just, I just wanted to share all that with you and, uh, that'll be it for now. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next time.